Hello, my name is Todd Lanley and welcome to your three minute update on two great features found in the new Cisco Firepower 7.1 code. In this three minute update, I'm going to cover object management in 7.1. I want to start with wildcards. So wildcards have been around forever. iOS, ASA, Lena code, we could do it, and but we've never been able to do it with FTD with 7.1 that now is a possibility. So let's go ahead and take a look what this means. It's gonna take a little effort on your side. So I'm gonna say add network, add object. And inside this object, I wanna create a network and I can create a wildcard now. Okay, so I'm gonna come under here and let's make one up. This takes a little work trying to figure out how to do these. Remember, this is different than the iOS code. So the, remember, think ASA code because they're done completely different. And then watch this mask. Let's make it fun. So the third octet is block size of 16, the net, and the fourth octet is the block size of 32. So what is the subnet, <laughs> right? So a little challenging, and so I wrote it out for you. I won't write out the next one. So here it is, 1664, 240 is a block size 16, 224 in the last octet is block size 32. So 16.64 is a subnet. Broadcast, block size 16 here, 31, because the next one is 32. 64 to 95, so uh, subnet 192168, broadcast 3195, the valid hosts are the numbers in between. If I was in iOS, this would be written as 0.0.15.31. Now I'm gonna give you another one after this. Let me see if this takes it, right? I'm gonna give you another one after this, and I'm gonna let you figure out the subnet. Now, just if you have struggling with this subnetting, there is probably a book you can get. Let me think. Oh, look at this. Just happens to be a link to my book up here. That was wonderful. Anyway, so come down here to my CCNA study guides and learn all about wildcard masking. Okay, so let's come back in here and notice. Let's go ahead and find that guy. And there it is. Network wildcard is what that says. Network wildcard. Nice. Let's go ahead and try another one. Why? Because it's fun. So let's try this one. Let me make up another one here. Wildcard two and um, you got to put in network 10.200.16.255.255.240.248 i'm going to let you figure this out but you should know that's a block size 16 and this is a block size of what block size of eight so what is the broadcast address 10.200. well zero the next subnet would be block size 16, and third octet would be 16, so it would be 15 dot, and that's a block size of 8, so dot 23, 8 dot 23. Again, check out my book or my videos. I did spell wildcard in that one wrong. I just noticed as I press enter, but that's okay. Network wildcard down here. I would change that. And so now we can use wildcards in here just like we used to do with our ASAs. Again, it's different than we had with our iOS. Now, another thing that I want to talk about is inside the platform settings. And so for objects, if I come in here and I say, hey, I want to do something with ICMP or SSH also available in HTTP, I can come in here and say add. And inside this ICMP access list, that's what it is, I can now use network groups. Now, I created a group and notice I just put four RC addresses in there and you weren't able to use groups in here before. So this is new for 7.1. I actually had to look at this a few mm -hmm. times and see what was new about that. So now I can add groups in here. It's ICMP service, I'd have to add another object in here. I have to go out and create an object, which I'm not gonna do. But so now I can add groups and I can also add groups. Notice I even named it for SSH because no one uses this HTTP access here. And so now if I came under here, I could actually now use a group in here again. So that might, this may be a big deal for you, but wait, there's more. One more thing. And basically, I want to come up here and say deploy, and let's see what we see. Now, one of the things I want to do is click preview here. So if I click preview the changes in this deploy, it's going to come up here. So notice on here, when this comes up, that I now have change policy access control, but I also have objects in here now. This is new for 7.1. And this is going to show me all the changes that I did in objects. So this is kind of a really nice little update on object management. One more thing I want to discuss with you before we go is those network wildcards. You can use these in pre-filter policy, the access control policy, 
and the NAT policy. There are some limitations. You can only use them for IPv4 and your FMC and FTD both must be running 7.1 or onward codes. And they're only going to be filtered with Snort 3. So if you're only running Snort 2, that's what I would call a limitation. Okay, my name is Todd Landley and this was your three-minute update.